Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a team software process. So in the previous video, I explained about the personal software process. So if you are uh, dealing uh, the so software process, if, the, if you want to develop a product or a process, the software process, what are the personal uh, way of solving the problem, the personal software process? In the same way, just see uh, the team software process. So, the team software process along with PSP helps the high performance engineers. So, always if you follow the, the person who is implementing the project or a process, they have to follow uh, PSP and TSP. PSP and TSP. Personal software process and the team software process helps, helps the high performance high performance engineers to engineers to ensure quality of software product to ensure quality software product and next to create secure software product to create not only the quality, they will think about the security also, secure software product and to improve process management in an organization. Ensure, create and improve. Improve process management in an organization. So, if you want to make, uh, if you want to ensure a quality software product, if you want, if you need the quality software product, if you need the secure software product, if you need to improve the process management in an organization, so then they have to follow the process ma uh, software, uh, sorry, personal software process and the team software process. If they follow these both, if you take the help of these both technologies, then they can ensure quality software product create secure software product and improves process management in an organization. So any engineer, if they want to reach the high performance product, they have to follow the personal software process techniques and the, as well as team software process technique. Now let us see the what are the frame activities that are involved in the team software process. TSP frame work activities. So, what are the TSP uh, team software process activities? So, the activities in the uh, team software process are first they have to launch high level design. Launch high level design. Okay. And next they have to implement. Means the team, the team uh, framework is following this uh, hierarchy. First, launching high-level design. Next, implementation. Implementation. And next, integration. So after impl in the implementation, they will follow the unit process. Means they are divide the complete the team. Different teams will take different modules. So after a completion of the each module in different teams, those uh, modules, those units will be taken and integrated. That is done in integration, implementation, integrations. After integration, they will go for the final test. And next is the post mart means the final delivery of the product so with, with checking all the errors so these are the activities that are involved in the team software process so you have to know think uh, while if you want to write that about the team software process the name itself is indicating it is a team a group of people a group of teams are working on a some software process so if they uh, the goal of the any team or any personal software process is to achieve the high performance product so if you want the help uh, if you want to ensure the quality of software product if they want to increase the create the secure software product if they want to improve the process management they have to follow the personal software process along with the team software process then they can uh, get the high performance product and these are all the framework activities that are involved in the team software process. Thank you.